Full disclosure, I'm not a big fan of alcohol. The most you'll ever see me drink is probably a beer, but anything stronger than that and my body reacts in a pretty negative way. Which is why, on a purely anecdotal level, I could never for the life of me understand how people could drink so much. But then I watched The Lost Weekend and it gave me an idea. The Lost Weekend was directed by Billy Wilder, one of the greatest directors of all time. He directed such classics as Double Indemnity, Sunset Boulevard, Some Like It Hot, and a certain film that we'll get to later in this marathon. It stars Ray Milland as Don Burnham, a promising writer with unfulfilled potential who struggles with his addiction to alcohol. His brother wants to take him away and spend an alcohol-free weekend with him where he can concentrate on his writing, but Don has other ideas. He ditches his brother and just keeps drinking and drinking and drinking. He can't help himself. What follows is a frustrating yet poignant story as we see Don constantly wrestle with his alcoholism to nearly disastrous results. This film tells a small story, but it's done very effectively. Ray Milland does an excellent job in the film and he truly deserved his Best Actor award for his performance. Through his dialogue and his mannerisms, he's able to grant us insight into his troubled and broken psyche. There's a scene where he shares with a friend of his how he feels when he drinks, and his descriptions are mesmerizing. Suddenly I'm above the ordinary, I'm competent, supremely competent. I'm walking a tightrope over Niagara Falls. I am one of the great ones. I'm Michelangelo molding the beard of Moses. It really brings you into the mind of the character. We accompany Don as he keeps trying to quit, to change his ways for the better, to finally step on the high road, but the liquor is just too strong. He spirals out of control as he descends into the depths of madness. By the end, the film turns into a scary horror film with some pretty disturbing imagery. <laughs> Speaking of which, the visuals of the film are fairly interesting. There are some very expressive zoom-ins and camera movements that emphasize the atmosphere. Also, there are a bunch of neat special effects that further illustrate Don's tortured soul. Honestly, this dude would have been completely lost if it wasn't for his girlfriend, who's probably like the greatest girlfriend of all time. I sincerely don't understand why she wastes her time with him. He keeps letting her down time and time again. He never shows any signs of improvement. He always dismisses her support and her attempts to encourage him. He even hits on other girls. What are you doing, woman? He's not worth it. Find a better man. Ah, <sighs> what can I say? Maybe that's why she's such a great girlfriend. She sticks by him no matter what. And I was intrigued to find out if Don ever did come good at the end. That's pretty much it. The Lost Weekend is a cautionary tale about drinking, a small story with great characters and great presentation. I recommend everybody to check it out when you can. I'm gonna rank The Lost Weekend just underneath Rebecca. It looks like it's gonna take an effort to penetrate the top six, but The Lost Weekend comes closer than the rest so far. Up next is the 19th Best Picture winner, a film that, for a change, deals with the aftermath of World War II and not with the war itself the best years of our lives. Check back tomorrow for the next video of DB Reviews Oscar Madness Marathon and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss a thing. Thank you all very much and let the journey continue.